Welcome back to some Chicken Police, I'm Dear Darling and join me in a couple of hard-boiled gumshoes as we take a walk on the wild side. Also in Chicken Police, the language used is not suitable for children and some scenes might be disturbing to younger audiences so consider yourself warned as we go straight onto it and interrogating Timothy Dimbo's about the disappearance of Zip from what so I hear. Alright, <laughs> he, he seems to be someone who likes to talk a lot so let's see, douche <laughs> impressions, douchebag. So what the hell are you doing around here, Tim? But Bird's looking straight forward at me. I don't know. Some animalistic instinct in me uh, is right, frightened. I confess, but you'll be surprised. I was looking for you, boys. The whole town's talking about. Unsurprised you. about that? I mean, we saw really you just about. Nice I mean, you speak stand, didn't we? Pride. <laughs> Everybody's whispering about the chicken police being back together again. We're bringing the band back and together. That you've already turned the whole city upside down. Well, I wouldn't go that far. Yeah, it seems yeah. a bit extreme. What else do they say? That you threatened Ibn Wessler's sweetheart Natasha. Did we? Trashed Madame Zavas's brothel. Our I mean, stuff. that didn't really happen. Really, I'm not surprised. <laughs> oh, and it's being turned against us, the media. Fire to a ship too. That wasn't even us. Yeah, right. <laughs> Sunny doesn't uh, care about this. More thing. A poor girl was found dead at Natasha's place after you visited there. How do I know we visited Is that her? so? And you believe all that? Well, I'm a journalist, Sonny. It doesn't matter what I believe. <laughs> yeah. Topical. Right. Yeah, right. And why were you looking for us here of all places? Have you seen anyone sniffing around here? Alright, um, let's just Have see if seen he's seen anyone, anyone sniffing around, around here. We're, we're just here to get our information. We don't, we're not here to get his life story, you know? For Zip. They came and went, uh, taking Zip with them, Two obviously, cops. and didn't do much else. They weren't looking for anything. And what's strange is that Zip went with them voluntarily. You mean from the police department? Who would come to get How Zip? How do you know that? Uh, I know Zip, and so do you boys. If he didn't want to go, he wouldn't have made it so easy for them. I think that's probably hey, fair enough. The truth. Sure <laughs> is. Minus 20? Oh, okay, well, apparently I did very badly there. Did the cops take anything? What did you tell them? Did the cops know. take anything? Apart from Zip, I guess? Besides Zip, you mean? Yeah. Yeah. No. At least, I didn't see anything. I feel like this interrogation ain't going so well. Plus five? Could be better. What happened what to, Zip, happened Tim? to Zip, Tim? I feel like we're losing okay. this conversation here. When I arrived here, the hop dog was already closed. Mm. Zip wanted to shoo me away, but I managed to persuade him to talk to me a little. Apparently he already knew what was coming from. You know? And uh, I have this personal charm. Personal charm? Yeah, right. The uh, charm. Get to the point, Timbo. Uh, okay, okay. No dilly dallying. So, he was totally crazy. I've never seen him like that before. He was flustered, flailing, and talking absolute gibberish. Hmm, he someone seemed to have tipped him off or something. Since you're such great friends. Well, he just said he'd go to the only place where there are even bigger scoundrels than those that are after him. Hmm. Really? I can guess where he meant. I, I can't. didn't have a clue. Anyway, I'm, I'm like Timber here. The dog I'm in the dark. I'm not detected. Then the cops came and took him away in handcuffs. I came to the conclusion that all of this makes no sense. <laughs> nice, you good, good detective of um, instinct, huh? Why? Who? What is it? Oh, tell me. No, I'm not telling you, you Timothy. Keep your beak out of this, scribbler. I think I've got an idea about what our little friend's up to. I'm glad you do, Sonny, because I don't. Loves to brag. And it's easy to approach him through his ego. Best if we He's a braggart. exploit that. We <laughs> we have no no good things about him. He's watchful. Heard any juicy gossip? You got nothing better to do. Working on a new front page article. Working on a new appeal front to his page ego. Article, eh? Well, if a specific celebrity couple's willing to give me an couple? interview, then uh, well, maybe I am. Don't even dream about it, Timby. Timby. <laughs> That was a plus 10? <laughs> what? Who told you we were working together with these two cops? Who were they? How did you get rid of cops? Well, this seems like the most useful information, to be honest. Madam Zyvas seems irrelevant at this point. How did you get rid of the cops? You didn't do anything, they just walked away. Who were they? These uh, two cops. Who were they? Even if it's not good from a point standpoint, it'd be um, notice. You know, you guys good to all find out. To me. Whoa, whoa, Stop Timbo. Uh, no offense. I mean, you and Marty are the exception. What an honor. <laughs> Did you maybe write down the license plate of their car? Mm. Why would I? You're not very watchful, are you, Timbo? Because you always pay attention to the small details, and you're not that stupid. Yeah, come on. I did pay attention, but it didn't make sense for me to write it down, Sonny. It was a cop car, you know? Sorry. 
never mind. <laughs> what kind of watchful bird are you? Minus 20. Oh man. Or maybe we'll ever use this once. You pay attention to everything. Did anyone else come here? You pay attention to everything. Apart from license plates else come here? and uh, cop faces. Besides the coppers? Yeah. A uh, ram and a bobcat, in fact. Oh. Budget. Okay, so I actually thought it was a ram and bobcat disguised as police officers coming to get him. But I guess, you know, that doesn't really make much sense the more I think about it. What? Wasn't them what? I didn't say they took zip because that's not how it happened. Mm. Don't make me mad, Tim. We're Chill really out, Sonny, don't worry. <laughs> for this. Hey, I I'm only telling you the truth. They stopped here in a fancy big car, uh, looked around, then left. Zip was no longer here. Neither were the coppers, okay? Okay, okay. Tiny Tim is a true fan of ours, and it's time to finally use that to our advantage. He is a big fan. Y you already had this written here. Did you pay attention, Timothy? How did Zip behave when we took him? He you already said that. Did you talk to Wes's men? Uh, probably not. Help your old pals, Tim. <laughs> this is almost certainly the correct option. What was Zip doing before they took him away? This is important, Tim. Are you sure they were Wes's goons? Okay, this is almost certainly they were Wes's men. This, he almost certainly didn't talk to them. And he already said that Zip was uh, went Help willingly, your old right? Pals, Tim. Right? What was Zip doing before they took him away? He was locking up the hey, pop dog, right? You're trying to grease me up with all that sweet talk, Sunny Honey. I don't think I like Sunny Honey at all. Of course not, Tim Tim. Tim We're Tim. Aw. I'm sure we are, but I don't remember you telling me that without <laughs> an ulterior motive. But you know what? Timothy. I don't care. Feels good anyway. You need to have higher standards. For yourself. I'm glad to hear that. So. All right, fair enough. I mean, he's an ultra fan. Crazy. Oh. Oh, you know this nervous beforehand. Yeah. Knocking over everything and throwing things away. Then he suddenly disappeared into the kitchen. I guess that's when he made the call. Because soon after that, the coppers arrived. Did Zip call the cops on himself to prevent being taken away by Ibn Wesler's goons for being a rat? And in between. That's my. That's my theory. Well, I didn't see him in between. In Why between what? Go inside. He's your friend, isn't he? I want to go behind the counter. It doesn't well, work, right? Right, Sonny. The door was closed. I oh, okay. Never mind. Even yelled. <laughs> you know how a yelling seagull sounds like. <laughs> but nothing. Please do not I demonstrate. I Actually, do demonstrate. That sounds that funny. Was all about. Sonny's got a hundred about everything. I have no idea. Can we use Sonny? Zip was hiding something in the dog. But what's he Zip hiding? Was hiding something in the dog, right? Uh, what do you mean exactly? I thought he was kicking everything well, over for. Tell me, you're good old friends, aren't you? Well, that's right, Sonny. But Zip's not the kind to easily share his secrets. But now that you put it that way, he almost that's certainly was. like it, Tim. Tell me, what do you know? I don't know what it could be exactly. I mean, maybe it's not even relevant, but I'm sure Zip was trying to get rid of something when I arrived here. What would he be trying to get rid of? What? And where? I don't know, okay? I, I already told you oh. too much. If Zip hears about me telling you all this, he's never going to talk to me again. I just got a phone text. Doesn't matter about that, it was an email. Um, I mean, yeah, Zip's already gone to jail or something, so... He's not going to talk to anyone ever again. Not in this life, at least. I mean, how many of the police took him? So it should be all right. Focus actually, 60%. That's still four stars? Really? Zip's hiding something in a hot dog. We must find it before it's too late. Okay, we try. Uh, so what the hell are you doing here, Timbo? Have you seen anyone sniffing around here? Have you seen anyone sniffing around here? Two cops came for Zip. They came and went. Uh, taking Zip with them, obviously, and mm -hmm. didn't do much else. They weren't looking for anything. And what's Wait, is this what we chose last time? Zip went with them voluntarily. How do you know that? Uh, I know Zip, and so do you boys. Ain't it the truth? Wrong one, wrong one. Um, did the cops take anything? What did what you, did tell, you them? tell them? This is what we me? didn't select. To the coppers? <laughs> Those guys avoid me even more than you do, Sonny. Probably for right. fair reason. I can understand that. <laughs> what can Sorry, Timbe. Occupational hazard. My understand. Okay. So yeah, those are definitely the wrong said, options. Yeah, Timbo. Um had any juicy heard gossip any today. Juicy gossip today, Tim, my friend. My friend Chef performed your new song tonight. It, it was, it was amazing. I heard, and a poor little Bambi died. 
Oh, and a ship was seen burning. <laughs> Wait, Bambi is a movie in this world? You already know that. <laughs> Hold on, this raises very many interesting questions. Oh, I guess probably Bambi is not is anthropomorphized in this world as well, not and not just in the actual day. <laughs> at all. But it could fill a full issue of the Clawville Chronicle. Isn't that enough? What, three stories? It's more than enough, Tim old pal. Tim old pal. How many different ways do you have to say Timothy? Um, who told you are working together again? These two cops. Brag out fan. What, what, what do we, what do we ask? Last time. The two cops, right? I think it was a minus so 10. I don't, I don't remember. <laughs> well, they say she's kind of angry because someone trashed her brothel. Wasn't us? And that someone was allegedly you and Marty. It's more like yeah, they trashed us. Told us. Kind of. Good story. Hold on. Weird phrasing. Else with a little more truth in it. Yeah, yeah, come on, Timmy. Ibn Wessler's men were seen around the brothel. I have a hunch that they were the same two guys that came here too. Well, apparently, the only two of Ibn Wessler's men Gee, who exist. That so. May even be true. <laughs> That's a plus ten. Timbo. Anyone else come here? Tim, Skip. It? Um, help yeah, your old pals. That's a plus ten. Zip was hiding it? something. Sixty percent still. I still messed up a lot. Decent. Okay, Timbo try again. Try again. Try again. Try. Try. Try again. Um, <laughs> what do we click? And why was it this one? For us here of you offend me, Sonny. I'm your biggest fan. Okay, yeah, we, we didn't choose this one last time. On okay. <laughs> I can't believe I immediately forgot. So it was a lucky guess. But we literally just saw you at the newspaper stand, so it's a bit Something weird. like that. And I'm wasting time here often anyway, so I had nothing to lose. And here we are. Fair enough. Plus 10, apparently. Out with it, Tim. Who squawked? So you weren't following us by any chance. Oh, different dialogue options. I don't know which one's a good one. Best one to go with. Put them under pressure. Tim, who squawked? Well, any decent journalist has connections everywhere, Sonny. So have I. Who are your so, connections? You don't think I'm going to betray my source. Do you take me for a rat? Sorry, I mean, I didn't mean it like that. I, I wow, no Timothy. It's 2021. Come on. That was a plus 10. <laughs> okay, sure. Zip, Tim. Okay, Timbo so we got the same bear. He's a braggart. I forgot which one we chose. This one, right? That's a plus 5. Could have been better. How have I immediately forgotten what I've chosen? Well, it's not. I, I haven't forgotten what I've chosen. I've forgotten like what scores they got. <laughs> Was it this one? That was the plus ten. Yes. Timbo, tiny. T Help your old pals. Zip. Zip. Hiding. Is that hundred percent or is that ninety? Oh, that's hundred percent. There we go. Living legend. Perfect job. Exactly how we would have done it. Okay, continue. We've got to find what Zip was hiding. Anything else to ask? Nope. Anything else Thanks, to speak with? Timbo. Nope, nope, nope. We've got a lot of codex entries, which I have a quick glance through. Zip's hiding something on a hot dog. We must find it before it's too late. Zip called the cops on himself and got them to take him in, but why? Oh, so that theory was right. Um. Well, I mean, it's almost certainly been better to. Well, maybe. <laughs> to be taken in by the cops than the mafia, I suppose. Um. What? Who, who are we looking for? We're looking for Zip and Timbo. So, Tim. Tim is a close friend of Zip, but not even he managed to find out what the old raccoon is up, up to. What, Olivia? Am I losing my mind? This says Olivia? Is currently Ibn Wes's assistant escort and finding out what? Tim knew what happened to Zip very well, and he's most likely keeping tabs on our actions too. It seems like a bug. I don't, I don't know why he's talking about Olivia here. What? Okay, well, that, that's, um, found a bug, I suppose. <laughs> Don't know how that happened. Not that it really matters. Zip. Um, delivering information to Ibn up to a couple of years ago, he was already working as a police informant then, so he may be on reporting to both sides. Called the police himself, but why? Was he af so afraid of something? I don't know, but we're going to try and find what he was hiding away. Look at this mess. Looks like Bless he was in mess. a real hurry, or was trying to erase his tracks. Why are you so short now, Marty? What happened? He's trying to hide something, but where? And most of all, what? 
Probably in a lockbox in the kitchen or something. Marty, you look so small. What happened? In the jukebox. Achievement unlocked, songbird. I did it. Oh. Have you been with Dead Fly, Tower No Tales? Not all cops are pigs. Killer Angel, Shady Figures, that have you been with her? Okay, we're not going to play those. We already played most of them, I think. Get over this whole mess. I'm going to take you to a concert. Mm, no, you sounds won't. good. Yes, I will. Swear. You better. Yeah, well, good. Hold true to your word, Marty. You'll see. Just wait. <laughs> Even looking at it makes me tired. But fly with me, baby. Custom Mavis. Mavis? Mavis? Eat garbage. Yeah, it's more Marty's kind of thing. <laughs> Eat garbage. That's a bit rude. Come on. I'm, I'm sure Zip works hard about that sort of thing. Okay, what do we have? Cold Ugh, coffee. Still here. Wouldn't dare touch that. Literally the same cup of coffee that's been here for quite a few hours now. Um, oh, we can only Marty look through the door. through it. Nothing interesting. Interesting. Doodles. Huh. What insight? Everything Good where all the colours go. Pal. That's deep, that's deep. The entire world's in black and white. I think we just have to talk to Marty. It seems like the only thing we can click on, which is even remotely useful. Have a look I at think him. Poor Marty just lost the last little bit of his sanity. Poor Marty. I don't think I we think helped with that. <laughs> to be honest. Greetings, pal. What can I get you? <laughs> what are you doing, Marty? Cup of coffee, please. A nice hot cup of coffee. Yeah. Maybe some toast. Ooh, love that French toast. Ooh, maybe. Strawberry jam pancake is divine. Welcome behind the diner bar. Pretty bad. <laughs> yes, sir. One coffee and a turbo milkshake with extra. Extra turbo milkshake. They're coming right up. Ah, oh, furry gods, help me! Please don't have a nervous breakdown, okay? He's just having a little bit of fun, Sunny. Let him live a little. Did you find something? Nothing. Or I mean. There's a lot of stuff here, but nothing important to us. I mean, fair distinction, Eddie, but... Whatever that mangy raccoon tried to hide must still be here. It must still be here. I don't know if he wants us to or find not. it, but we're finding it. Or not? You think not? Anything? Still nothing. But I'm starting to like it here. It's like a new job. New life. It's a lot safer than being... Well, if this or this line of work, I suppose. Up, you'll find yourself looking for a job, so enjoy it. Ha, 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 ha. That's a very strange laugh, Marty. Anything? Still. Ha, 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 ha. The kingdom of dirty dishes and dull knives. And some trash. I wonder if we have to <laughs> click and find something specific. Like I'm trying to find the, the card in. Um. Oh! Oh. Like trying to find the card back in, um. The, uh, Natasha's weekend house. Or maybe it's actually something to do with a jukebox. Or we had to play all the songs. Wow. Have you been with a... With a predator before. Shady figures that coconut cauldron. Hope the bees don't get copyright struck. Not all cuts of pigs. No, we've played all of these though, so what's the point? <laughs> Even the fact we haven't unlocked all of them. So it's meant to be in here somewhere. But there's like nothing to click on. It's a problem. <laughs> cold, cold and mold. Cold and moldy. I mean, this one lamp is very out of place, but still. <laughs> if we got nothing to click on, it's a bit hard to find cold. anything, isn't it? We're just sort of pixel searching at this point, pixel hunting. But this is where we're meant to go to advance of the plot, right? Thanks, Timbo. I don't know if you understand what I'm saying, but uh, I'm sorry about my colleagues. This is the dialogue, isn't it? Not all cops are like them. Ah, leave it, Sonny. So long, pal. I thought maybe he'd be the secret to. I don't know if uncovering what we have left, but what? when all of it, you owe me a. This is all dialogue we have before. We can't even leave this place. So, um... This sign. So it must be in here somewhere. The kingdom. The kingdom. <laughs> I'm being bested by a puzzle game. <laughs> it's about finding something all over again. 
And again, I'm, I'm tripped up as usual. It's like playing a witness all over again and just missing things right in front of me, it feels like. Oh no. Don't bring, don't bring me back to those flashbacks. Just put the puzzle in front of me and I can solve it. What are we looking for? Like, the jukebox is like the only thing we can interact. Look at this. Okay, sure. I'm looking. I was gonna say it's the only what thing the we can interact. Be? No idea, Marty. Guess it's best if we ask the owner himself. You hit it in the jukebox. Where do we find him? At the you know, police station. Kimbo told us he's with even worse bastards than the one chasing him. That's it. The Parliament. The Parliament. <laughs> no, Marty, but Marty. close. <laughs> then. No way. Oh yes, Marty. Zip is at the Clawville City Police Department. Could it be that simple and that wild? I mean, if a police took him in, where else are they going to take him? Well, the cops took him, so it's obvious that he called the cops by himself to scare away Westler's henchmen. Timbo was right. I certainly didn't expect Wolverwolf hunting to be directly in the jukebox, but the still. the police is in Westler's pocket. Are they? He probably does, but this was his only chance. Hopefully he flipped that 50-50 coin uh, and then he really won it. Is in big trouble. So, to the PD then? To the PD? Well, I haven't got a better idea. Believe me, I'd love to have one. We seem to end back there a lot, eh? New clue, what have we got? Why did you keep that wristband? A wristband? 984-23722. And it's covered with blood. Hmm. Okay, um, it's, it's some sort of identifier tag, isn't it? Maybe it's something we use in prisons? Covered in blood? Has it been to prison? I don't remember. Also, sorry, jukebox. I wonder if there was actually, like, something there. If we paid attention, we could have seen something hidden there. I then clicked on it, but, um, I don't know. A wristband, but what the heck does it mean? Honestly, a good question. Have you found what you were looking for? Hello, Timbo. No, Timbo, but we wouldn't tell you even if we did. <laughs> you didn't hear us smashing the jukebox? Ah, but you have. You are an open book to me, Sonny. I don't... So, uh, thanks for the intel. Yep, you're welcome. Be careful what you're writing, Timmy boy. I'm a cop for only the next 121 days. After that, I can gut you if I want and get away with it. I mean, you could probably do it and now anyway if you wanted. Being a cop stop you. I was gonna say. Yeah, the point. <laughs> Just keep a low profile, okay, Timster? Yeah, don't get yourself okay, in trouble, okay. eh? I get it. My beak is sealed. Zoop. Too soon, too soon. Thanks, Timbo. Well, I guess we're off to the police department unless we've got limited time events, which we do at the weekend house, the sweltering Nile, the Tsar Club, and Merlin's newsstand. Okay, let's um go to weekend house first, because it seems like the least interesting of them. Get the hell out of here. If you didn't know, this is a crime scene. Then what the clock are you doing here? Have we had this dialogue before? We've had this dialogue before, ah, right? Something's jabbed me in the eye. You don't say. Ah, that's a good one. The rain's not gonna want No, it won't. Not so the limited run. time events are exactly the same this time, Try aren't they? Burn down the we can't prom yeah, this is, this is exactly the same. Thousand, Should we blow out the tires? So presumably the others are all the same as well. Don't know, have a quick look. Please leave. <laughs> so I guess. Even this is the same. This is all the same, right? You can bunk at the Atlas with Lewis for a while, Mort, but uh, only on one condition. Yeah, I think it's the same. Sunny boy, anything. Leave that. Anything you can do, I can do that. Pay him a visit and strangle the little rat. Oh, and finally visit the hospice. Okay. The Chihuahua. They're gonna help you there. <sighs> okay. What Chihuahua? You convinced me, buddy. I'll do it. Of the person he's living with? I don't remember. Both. Just leave me alone, okay? <laughs> I don't remember that dialogue. Lizard wizard. Yes. I remember the lizard wizard part, though. Thanks, boys. Why are you so small now? It. Don't mention it, Morty. <laughs> Thanks again, pal. Oh, don't even think about it, Sonny. <laughs> the favors are in the bank. This is definitely the same dialogue option, so I think we'll just go straight to Clawville PD. After I just check Mullins news down very quickly. So long, Tim. I hope okay, yes, yes, yes. We, we've done all these limited time things already, so two Clawbill PD. Oh, one of these, turn it down. Oh, my Clocking word. Furry hell. So they know we're still alive? 
And Hello. Like to do something about it. Oh, shooting game, shooting game. What's going on? Don't shoot them, bird brain, shoot the car. Fair enough. How can I hide away? How do I reload? I forgot how you reload. Oh, right click. Okay, there we go. <laughs> Don't shoot them. Shoot the car, you idiot. Hide away. Bang. Bang. I, d I just shot- I definitely shot our passenger side window. <laughs> I'm just saying. Bang, bang. We Interesting. We only hope we'd arrived in time. If they'd taken Zip to the interrogation room, the hole, as we called it, and All right. beaten I mean, the what happened to the Bobcat him, and the Rambo? We'd Parker lose Bolden, the trail. What his name is? End up in a dead end. It was time to be fast and ruthless. God damn it, Zip! Why couldn't you stay out of this? See, you say fast. I just hear. Let's talk to everyone first and investigate uh, everything first. Here? The top of the How are you here now? Are you not ever crime scene? Luck. They must have gotten soaking wet because of those holes. Sometimes I wonder how these two are even still alive in a city like this. I mean, they seem to be doing somewhat well for themselves. Of the world, Marty. Can't hate on it, you know. They're just living. <sighs> They're never gonna use an umbrella, are they? There's not a chance in hell those two would ever admit what morons they are. Hey, Marty, don't they remind you of someone? Sunny. But, you know, an umbrella's probably good for all the <laughs> resources. <laughs> Spending department, isn't it? Don't have to get a new coat every single time. Hey, guys. Beautiful night, huh? Maybe a little wet, but, uh... Well, to be honest, I'm soaked to the bone. Maybe the spikes. Don't Shut you have quills? Up, Royce. And you, don't you have anything better to do? Hey, better than this? Nah, nothing. We love clowns. Uh, Love watching the circus. <laughs> the boss is waiting for you inside, my He's already waiting for us. He's in a lovely mood, if you ask me. That's, that's a bit worrying. Hang yourself, little pincushion. Feather duster. Attention, attention. Roy's, take care of this midget for me, okay? The wind <laughs> might blow him away. This dwarf is verbal sparring. Okay, Shani. Oh, just shut up, Roy's. Can't you see they're making fun of us? Yeah, but we're making fun of you for this. Roy's, take care of this midget for They should really switch to a new model. We've been driving around in these since they invented the wheel. Even the most incompetent mm. fur smuggler can outride us on a bicycle. Well, at least we can blame the car. Good point. <laughs> I don't think really that's something you want to a new model. Blame the car instead of um Did you ever something. believe in all of this, Sonny? What do you mean? I, mean, I feel like this dialogue we've had before. Well, or what we should represent. This, this feels familiar, but I'm not yeah, entirely sure. I used to believe in it. And then, when I was a younger chick. Somewhere deep down, I guess I still do. After all the shit we've been through, why else would we be here right now? Hmm. Deep. You're right. Does that mean I also believe? I think it's up to you, well, Marcy, isn't you it? If you question yourself, Marty, then yes, you still do. Is that how it works? I don't know if that's how it works. I'm just an idiot. Like you. All right, then. That's a possibility. Yeah. <laughs> Thanks, Boss Bird, for thinking we still have a reason to believe. Y you're welcome. Hey, don't start with the sentimental crap or I'll punch you in the gizzard. Thanks I don't know what that is. that too, Boss. It's <laughs> sobering and enlightening at the same time. Yeah, you take up us up into the clouds and then keep us grounded to reality, all in the same sentence. Thanks, Boss Bird. Hey. Thanks for that. Poster. I hate the old ham from the bottom of my heart. It kind of sounds like everyone does, well, I'll be I honest. I understand that. But still, if it weren't for him, half the city would have been drowned in filth. You either love him or you, you know hate him. I mean? It's a bit like Marmite. Or love him and hate him. Still like Marmite, I guess. Yeah, it's hard to admit, Marty, but without him, we wouldn't be here today. You and me. Do you think he knows that? No, I won't tell him. <laughs> Not until his funeral, right? Not That's something you say for his eulogy. Brother. <laughs> well, let's hope we don't see his lousy mug in print. Sounds like we we're gonna have, have to face him fa luck, head on Sonny. right now. Well, let's hope we only have to see. We don't have. But something we'll probably say for next episode.
because I yeah we'll save the next episode so if you have been watching thank you very much for spin chicken please paint it red I've been dear darling likes comments subscription shares all greatly appreciated links to be down below wait what shares are greatly appreciated links down below I hope we can see each other again but for now it's our farewell so until next time bye for now